Niner Empire, what up? Cam Rogers coming at you for the 49ers report. I've got nine rumors to get through, and then later, the top five most important games of the 2018 season. But first, we start things off with Des Bryant. Is it going to happen? Is he going to San Francisco? One Jedhead, guys. That is all I'm giving it, and I'm very close to giving it the fake news. So here's the deal. NFL Network's Tom Pelissero reports the 49ers aren't likely to pursue the free agent wide receiver Des Bryant. This comes after Dez expressed interest in the team on Instagram via a comment when somebody asked where he would most like to go to. San Francisco was the response. He later deleted that comment. And I've been saying this all along in regards to Dez. The 49ers like where they are at with their wide receivers. We're talking about Pierre Garçon and Trent Taylor, Marquise Goodwood, Dante Pettis, Kendrick Bourne even. There's plenty of ability on the outside for the 49ers, Dez would likely throw a wrench into all of the progress and what the 49ers have in place right now. And Brian has received some interest in the past, more specifically from the Baltimore Ravens. They offered a multi-year deal for him. He declined. And ever since then, the market has been very quiet for Dez Bryant. But this I can tell you, it is very unlikely that he signs with San Francisco. But be sure to let me know in this reaction poll. Should the 49ers sign Dez Bryant? Give me a heart for sign him. Give me a like for don't sign him. I'll track what you guys say. I want to see those reactions flowing in here on the broadcast. Hit me up with those hearts and those likes on Facebook Live as well as YouTube. Let's get to rumor number two on the list here. Are the Niners going to get hot at the end of the 2018 season? Firmly in the rumor category, two jet heads here. Why do I bring this up? So the company Football Perspective looked at strength of schedule and provided the schedules most front-loaded and back-loaded. And when I say front-loaded, I mean easier games towards the beginning of the year. And when I say back-loaded, easier games towards the end of the season. So the San Francisco 49ers ended up with the fourth most backloaded schedule in that the team has the fourth easiest schedule at the end of the season. This includes matchups against the likes of the Broncos and the Seahawks, the Bears. You see the Rams there in terms of the last five games of the 2018 season as well. So this kind of feeds into this rumor, this narrative, this storyline that maybe the 49ers could get on a big time run at the end of the regular season and perhaps either A, get into the playoffs as a wild card, or B, just win the whole dang division and you get a home playoff game. So there you go. That's the rundown of the last five games of the 2018 season. And there's reason to believe the team could make a big-time run, but they have a gauntlet of a schedule at the beginning of the year against playoff teams such as the Vikings, the Lions, the Chiefs, the Chargers. So they got to get through those games first but then it gets a little softer towards the end of the season. All right, let's get to rumor number three on the list. Cassius Marsh, will he retire as a San Francisco 49er? Well, he wants that to be the case. I'm giving this to Jed Heads, firmly in the rumor category. So Marsh did recently sign a two-year deal with the team, but it's not exactly a long-term commitment. He received a $2 million roster bonus a month after signing and a fully guaranteed $1.1 million base salary for this season. This year is certainly an opportunity for Cassius Marsh to really cement himself as a premier pass rusher for the 49ers. He'll compete with the likes of Eli Harold, Jeremiah Atachu, Ronald Blair, and others. And Marsh had two sacks and got pressure on 11.9% of his pass rushes during his six games with the 49ers. So comes into... 2018 with a good share of momentum and I've said the same logic with Jeremiah Atachu in that you can't rise up this depth chart as an edge rusher for the 49ers because quite frankly guys there's not a whole lot of ability there yes Solomon Thomas yes Eric Armstead but Cassius Marsh could certainly make some noise for this team if he can earn 8 to 12 sacks next year he'll make a good case to stick around with the team long term. All right, let's get to rumor number four on the list here. Did DeForest Buckner have the most quarterback hits among defensive tackles last season? Four Jedheads here. Yes, he did. 
This coming from Pro Football Focus, which recently tweeted the defensive tackles with those most quarterback hits last season. And Buckner does indeed check in at number one with 19 total quarterback hits. Buckner had a stellar 2017 season, ranking sixth among defensive linemen, according to Pro Football Focus. And there you see the numbers there. Buckner at one, Leonard Williams at two with the Jets. Jarrell Casey of the Titans at three, tied with Gerald McCoy of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And there's Aaron Donald, all the way down to number five there. DeForest Buckner, what a year last year, and he's only getting better, folks, turning into one of the real elite defensive tackles among the players out there in the NFL. All right, let's get to rumor number five on the list. How about those 1994 new alternate throwback jerseys? Are they a hit? Three jet heads here, leaning towards four, to be honest with you. So the 49ers have sold $100,000 worth of these new throwback jerseys from Wednesday evening to Thursday, just in that time frame. And of course, no shocker here, Jimmy Garoppolo leading the way with 63% of the share, but other big time 49ers atop that list as well. Richard Sherman, Jerry Rice, Steve Young, Deion Sanders were also high up in sales. And this year's throwback alternate jerseys are from 1994, bringing back a ton of nostalgia, folks, and those memories from their last Super Bowl victory. All right, so that's rumor number five. Let's go to rumor number six. Will Jimmy Garoppolo regress in 2018? So close to the fake news. Going to give it the one jet head for now. So SB Nation writer Patrick Holloway recently noted the amount of pressure on Garoppolo could create some regression from last season to this season in comparison between the two. So Holloway said, Interesting examples, by the way. Scott Mitchell, Matt Castle, and even Austin Davis were impressive in small spurts, and they didn't exactly pan out. So essentially arguing that that could be the case with Jimmy Garoppolo as well as you take a look at the last five starts for Garoppolo. 5-0 record with the 49ers. To say that he will regress, first of all, assumes that there is a good enough sample size from the previous year to say that he will regress in the following season. The guy only played five games for San Francisco, so I feel like you can't really say he's going to regress because did he really progress to the highest of ability? I don't think so. If it was 16 games and he balled out for all 16 games, then maybe you could make that argument, but even though, even, even then, I would probably just give it one jet head. So where does Jimmy Garoppolo rank among quarterbacks in the NFL? Top 10, top five? Top three, top 25? Let me know in comments. Hit me up on Facebook Live as well as YouTube. But one jet head on Jimmy Garoppolo regressing, folks. In my eyes, unbiased opinion, I'm going to tell it to you straight, he's a top 10 quarterback heading into 2018. All right, let's get to rumor number seven on the list. Solomon Thomas, breakout season coming in 2018. Well, DeForest Buckner certainly thinks so. We're going to give this three jet heads. We think it's pretty likely as well, so we're falling in line with what Mr. Buckner is saying. So in regards to this, Buckner says that, uh, well, Thomas had a solid 2017 season and he really didn't have a full on off season to really get ready. So all things considered, not too bad there. You carry that momentum into 2018, especially going through a full off season with OTAs and mandatory mini camp and training camp and also really focusing on your pass rushing ability, which is something that Solomon Thomas has been working on of late. Hey, who's to say that a breakout season can't happen? So there you go. Solomon Thomas, three jet heads on perhaps bursting onto the scene in 2018. Rumor number eight on the list. This is in regards to the offensive line and particularly Josh Garnett. Will he start at right guard? Two jet heads here, pretty close to making it three actually. So he is competing for a starting slot. We didn't see him at all last year because of an injury. And as Garnett continues to get these reps here in OTAs, we'll flash you guys the starting front five from a recent OTAs. Uh, it seems to be pointing in the, the direction that Garnett could land that starting role, especially as Jonathan Cooper 
continues to rehab from an MCL injury. Lincoln Tomlinson is likely going to be that left guard, so right guard is wide open. I think Joshua Garnett has a very real chance to get that slot, especially when you saw all the good PR this offseason, shedding pounds, looking quick, ready to blend nicely in that Kyle Shanahan zone blocking scheme. All right, finally, rumor number nine, is there a lack of cohesion perhaps in the secondary for the 49ers? One Jed head here, Rumor Origin USA Today, more specifically Niners Wire, which is the USA Today affiliate there. And the idea is that because of all the new pieces in the secondary, there's concern about chemistry and cohesion. And look, I understand that, but that's also why we have rookie minicamp and OTAs and mandatory minicamp and training camp and preseason is to work out these kinks to get through the process of building chemistry and being one unit in that back end getting ready for the regular season. You take a look at some of these new DB additions, a lot of them via the draft. Richard Sherman is the guy I'm looking at because I think he could be the glue to make everybody stick in that secondary. And I think the 49ers could have a top 10 pass defense, heck even top five by the season's end.